Hi, welcome to this quick video. This video is designed to walk you through the menu, the menu options in Learn UCS. So what I've got here is my Learn UCS course, a course in Learn UCS, and I have the standard menu down there. What, I've, um, what I really want to do is show how you can change things, the names of things, rename the buttons, delete them, put in um, lines, put in subheadings, a way in other words of reorganizing the menu to be much more effective. So the menu, like a website, this menu works as, a, as one of the first indicators to students of where you want them to go and why you want them to go and what they're going to achieve in those areas once they're in them. So the menu is a very powerful tool and could require a little bit of thought as you're designing the course. So to start with, uh, I made sure my edit mode is on up here. If you turn it off, of course, I'm, against the, uh, I'm just navigating as a lot of students. I'm going to turn it on. And then what I can do is as I go over the top of things, I can look at that, welcome, uh, I can click on here, it's an existing menu item so I can rename it, I can hide it so that students won't see it, uh, or I can delete it altogether. And I'm a great believer in hiding and deleting stuff so that students just see what you, where you want students to go, they don't finish up clicking through large areas of your course that have got nothing in and then they're thinking to themselves, oh, why is there nothing in here? So I can modify whatever is in place. I can also, as you see with these lines, just happily move them around and reorder them. Again, quite a useful thing to do because most people go top down when they look at menus, don't they? So you can start to profile or promote um, areas, uh, uh, some sections above others. What I've got in here as well is I've got a act thing called activities, which in fact is just a menu item, but it it is, I can rename it and delete it because it doesn't do anything, it's a, it's a subheading, so I'm going to add subheadings and do all sorts of things there. So, how do I start manipulating? Well, if I want to put some sub subheadings and breaks in, I can do the following. If I click up on the pop plus sign up here, you can see I can add a new menu item, and that can be a content area, it can link to a tool area, it can be a web link or whatever, but it can also be a subheader and a divider, so I'm going to put a subheader in. And I'm going to call this tasks you need to do. So one thing I've got on this course over here is I've got my tasks. So I'm using tasks to inform students of what they should be doing when. And I'm going to have tasks that they need to do. So in my task area, I want them to link now to a tool which actually takes them to this thing and lists all the tasks they need to do. So I'm now going to go and add a tool link. And that is a task and I'm just going to call it tasks. I could have called call it tasks that you need to do link straight to it but I might add a number of other things under there so I'm not going to move that up so it's straight under the subheading. You can see it's at the moment it's hidden uh, so I'm going to show link which means anybody enrolled on this course will now see those tasks. I again want this to differentiate as people log in that there's different spaces so I'm going to use dividers I'm going to put a divider in above here. I'm going to add another divider and I'm going to put that above the help. And then I'm going to put a subtitle called, I'm going to call this support. Well, you can see what I've got here support resources. Actually, I don't think I'm going to want to call it resources, I'm going to call it materials. And I'm going to put that above there. Okay, so I might want to also now look in, think, well, if I put a web link in, I'm going to put it to the library, or UCS library, and that's where I put in the link to the library. But at the moment, I'm just going to put it in as a holding one, so I'll put it into the BBC and make that available to users, and they can come. Oh. I need to put my HTTPS in. So, and I'm going to put library above the help there. Okay. So that's what I've got now. Then I've got support area and I've got task area. I'm going to change that welcome to. I'm going to rename that instead of welcome to. Um, I'm going to call it home area. And then I just tick this so that's fine. 
and then I've got activities under here I've got their assessments um, session updates is I can put in another one called I call that news and in the news area we'll have the session updates there okay so now if I click on here I've used my menu qu quickly I've in, used subheadings and divisions to identify that's the core area of the course where they get the latest news I click on the session updates and that's where they go to all of the blogs where they're doing their session updates here their activities they've got their learning sets and they've got their assessment area where they'll do their submissions this happens to have some peer review and some general quiz questions in the tasks they can click on there and that's the things they need to do so they need to know that this is the thing they've got to don't forget to do your assessment there and it's given them a date to do it by and this is late so they started again you can set a priority for it as well and I've got my support materials so some very simple things to do here I've done it in sort of five minutes and that changes the whole feel of the course and gives students a much clearer idea of what sort of things they need to achieve on the course or you're hoping that they achieve on the course I hope you've enjoyed the video